we are back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lag and this is Grounded. And it turns out that you can get on top of the Tasty even after you knock the arms down. So we're back here right now to get this milk molar. I do have Natural Explorer on, which gives me a little bit of speed. So I'm hoping that this part helps. And then you can get on this. Yeah, you can get on this lip. So I was jumping around the edge and there's a little lip below it that I was getting on. Anyways, the comment section told me you could do this. And so I watched a video and by golly, you can do this. So thank you guys in the comment section. I bow down to you. Let's try, come on. Yeah, so close. Get up there, did it. First try, <laughs> Which means you belong to me now, Milk Bowler. You're mine. Excellent work, comment section. Thank you so much. Anyways, that's still pretty janky though. I don't know if that's intended, but uh, we'll see when the update goes live for everyone if they did anything about that. If you thought I just came in here for a milk bowler, you were sadly mistaken, because today is boss fight day. Ooh, some wasp paper. But that's right, we're taking on the queen wasp. And as you can see, all the wasps have respawned in here, so I'm gonna try to sneak past them, because I, you know what, I just don't feel like it. Not in the mood. I'm just gonna run past you guys, I don't want any crap. Take a little fall damage here, but that's fine. Yeah. We are inside. On the last episode, we came in here and we got the recipe for a BBQ medley off of this guy right here. And so I made it. And there it is right there, an array of flavor for a flying queen. So I've decided that because the wasp are salty, the queen will be no different. And I'm going to use the Morning Star Mace. You guys use whatever salty weapon you want to use. But for me, I like the swing speed of this. It doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage, but it's salty. It should get the job done. So I've got two mutation loadouts ready for this fight. And for the first part of the fight, I'll be using this one. It's got Meat Shield, Buff Lungs, Coup de Grass, Dissection Expert, and Rascal Rogue. We'll try to get some extra parts off the queen, but specifically I'd like to get my hands on the trinket she drops. So after we grab two parts from the queen, whatever they are, I'll then switch over to mutation loadout C, which is Meat Shield, Buff Lungs, Coup de Grass, Natural Explorer, and Mithridatrism. The Wasp do poison, Mithridatrism, should help counter that with my poison resist. Plus I've got the waspidote, which heals me, has poison resist, and I think clears the poison as well. And then also for the first part of the fight, I'll use this sticky fingers trinket, which will help us grab a second item. I got a bunch of heals on me, and I've only got six of the waspidotes. Hopefully that'll be enough. You guys ready to see the queen wasp? Here we go. Good luck, Lagan. Thanks, Lagan. Okay. Where's she coming from? Oh, there she is. I see you up there. Come on in. Come on in. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Okay, shooting venom already. Don't like that. Get down here. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Okay. That's fun. Those are everywhere. Little venom bombs or something. Oh, yeah, we smack her good. I got to pay attention for drops. Just once we get the two drops, I gotta change my loadout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Morningstar does good right off the bat. Oh no, you're not calling for help, are you? Oh, no one? Yeah, you are! Oh, you landed! Did I kill your help? Not yet. So I got a wasp queen wing just now? Where'd you go? Are you a drone or are you a regular one? Oh, it's just a regular wasp, good. Because the drone might heal her. over here. Ooh, gotta watch out for those things. Explodies. Little explosion balls. Uh-oh, another one. And another one. All right, back in. Oh, God. There's this thing again. Run! Yeah, nice. That, that's fun. All right, you're gonna get smacked. Oh, I blocked something. Oh, she fell down. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, blocked. Ha <laughs> ha, you ain't doing nothing to me. I am the parry master. Oh God. Oh, you can reach her from pretty far away too. That's nice. I made the hitbox nice and big on her, which is great because a flying boss could be completely annoying. Go again with the sprinklers. 
right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's get back in. Ah! Yeah. I want to check my inventory to make sure I haven't picked up more than two items yet. Not, not yet. Still just got the one thing. I got some wasp queen wings. All right, let's keep it going. Got her about down to half health here. At least she's not calling in ads every 10 seconds. That's good. So far, anyways. It might get worse as the fight goes along. Now I've got her under half health. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, it seems like all you have to do is run away from these balls. They don't last very long. They just blow up and go away. The one where she, like, showers the whole room with them, though, they seem to stay around for a little bit. They definitely have, like, a lingering gas effect. Oh, you hit me! Little jerk! Oops! I had the wrong class set up. That's why I didn't get the second part yet. So that first part I got was from the trinket I'd equip, but the Rascal Rogue has not kicked in at all. So I've kind of wasted my opportunity here. I'll still get one more drop. But it might not be the rare drop that I'm looking for, which would be the trinket. Eh, I screwed that up. So the whole first half of the fight, I had Natural Explorer on a Myth of Datrism, instead of Rascal Rogue, the Dissection Expert. Oh, she's calling in ads again. Let's get it. Oh, no, it's an actual drone, not my healer. I gotta take this thing out as quick as possible. All right, got it. Now I'm poisoned because I wasn't paying attention to the queen, but we'll just pop this. That'll take care of that. There's all kind of debuffs on me now, too. Yeah, just hold still. Stay right there. What do we get? A wasp queen chop. Okay, now I can switch. Plus, now that we got the two parts, I'm going to put in Thor's pendant. I am also now going to eat a couple of meals I brought because we're about halfway through the fight, so critical hit chance. And I've got... Uh, Damage resist. Plus, I brought a couple smoothies. This will give me plus attack. And this will give me damage resist, which will stack with that meal I just had. Plus, I'll eat a little aphid. Why not? Oh, you're going to hate me now, queen. Prepare thyself for a pummeling. Huh? You ain't so tough. I have fought much tougher. The Mantis, tougher than you. First time I fought a Black Widow, tougher than you. Ooh, get knocked silly, get knocked silly. You got her stunned. She's not doing anything right now, she's just gotta just take it. Yeah, take the punishment. Take the punishment. Ooh, watch out, watch out. Stop shooting those dang balls. Yeah. Oh, she got me with that one. Take a poison resist. We're good. Ow. Take another wasp note. We're good. Yeah. Oh, you're almost dead. Uh oh. She knows she's almost dead. Watch out. All right, finish her. Come on. Got you. Yeah. Got her. Haha. <laughs> awesome. First try. Bar Bardic Inspiration Mutation Detected. All right, we'll check that out. Now, before I pluck her body, let me go through my mutations really quick. I should probably put back on Dissection Expert because it gives me loot luck. So maybe I'll get uh, more or better drops here. Let's see what happens. Oh, I got the Wasp Queen head. I got three Queen uh, wings and eight Queen chunks. I don't know what the default you could pick up is, but maybe Dissection Expert helped out right there. I wish I had my classes loaded out correctly when I started the fight, but that's all right. We're gonna have to fight her again because we still need to make her stuffed version and her wall mount version. Bardic Inspiration. The twing of your bowstrings mimics that of a harp, empowering your allies as you shoot. Phase one out of one. Uh, I'm not really sure what that does, but maybe that is a co-op mutation and that will empower your friends. So as you're shooting your bow, Maybe it gives them a buff of some kind. Not sure exactly. I mean, I'll take out a bow and equip it and see what it does. But first, we got to get back to a research lab. Oh, there's one up here. We can research the parts we just got. And it's going to make a run for it. Don't you touch me. We're good. I think. Maybe they won't notice me. Maybe. All right, let's analyze these wings. 
Bard's Bow. Oh, they put a tier three bow in the game. Nice. We've had a tier three crossbow for a while, but never a tier three bow. That'll be awesome. We got the wasp chunks. Yeah, so this unlocks the stuffed queen and the wall mount for the queen. So the next time we fight her, we'll have loot luck and we'll have more attack damage against her. And I did test that out. You can apply both more attack damage to a certain creature plus the loot luck. Then we also got the queen head. This unlocks Bard's Tutor. It looks like a hat and boss sauce. Oh, we got a new smoothie called boss sauce. All right, so we're heading back home. We're gonna check out that bow, the hat, the boss sauce. Also wanna see how big the wall mount's gonna be for the queen. And I wanna see how big the stuffed queen version's gonna be as well. Hey, Bags, guess what? I just killed the wasp queen. Jump for joy with me, jump. Yeah, it's exciting times. Two wasp queen chunks, two lint rope, and two queen wings. Okay, I've got everything I need for the bow. Takes a wasp head and some chunks and some lint rope, so I don't have everything I need for this because I needed a second head. This gives you barbatic discouragement and waspoid. Don't know what either one of those would do, so I'm gonna have to make it to find out. But first, I wanna make the bow, I think. There it is, Bard's bow, and would you look at the wings on it? This is such a cool design, I love it. So as we can see here, it is a tier three bow. There's your damage at zero level. There's your stun, and there's your speed. But it comes with minor threat. Minor threat decreases enemies' desire to attack you. So basically, it's like a camouflage. Of course, I'll be upgrading this thing. We'll do a separate video on the hat and the bow together, and maybe it pairs well with the new wasp armor, because I'm still not clear on if the wasp armor charge attack means a fully drawn bow shot, or if it means staffs, or if it means both. I've got some testing to do with that. In the meantime, though, let's check some other stuff out. Oh, you're a big one. We're gonna have to get you a special tree because that is not high enough off the ground at all. He is huge. Get out of the, get out of here, ladybug. I'm making a video for YouTube. And yeah, this will take another queen head, five more chunks, two more wings, and three moth fuzz. And I can hang your little wasp buddies next to you. Wow, they're big too. I think we'll put the queen's head on the fireplace. I took the moth down so we can make some space for her right there. That'll be another queen head and four more chunks and an acorn shell. So that's pretty easy to make. Oh, I actually do have enough to make Bard's Tutor right now, or I have enough to make the wall mount. I think the wall mount's more important right now because this way we can have uh, more attack damage against her next time we fight her. So I am gonna go ahead and make this one right now. Oh, what a fine addition to the bedroom. How menacing, I love it. So if we mark her, she should scream and that would give us plus attack damage against her. Kind of a weak scream. Yep, but we do have the plus wasp queen damage now. Increases damage dealt against the wasp queen for 15 minutes. Now what about this boss sauce? Here it is. Uh, it takes one wasp queen head, one brood mother fang, one mantis head. So it's actually the bosses, boss sauce. I get it, I like it. This will give you plus critical hit chance and heals. Okay, not bad. I mean, I've got food that gives me plus critical hit chance, but I think the percentage is higher with the smoothies than it is with the food. Don't quote me on that, but I think I read that somewhere. Question is, do you make it into a sticky because you want the critical hit chance to last longer? Or do you make it with the muscle sprout so you get a better heal? You'll probably use the sticky on this one, but to each their own, I always say. But I think that'll do it for today's video and hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24 and I will see you uh, next time.